my goal is to make sure that, of course, to help the leaders to achieve their vision is to be sustainable, the country, even after oil. So my motto started beginning of the 20th century, 21st century, made in UAE, sold globally. My mother was uh, in a wedding the night before I was born, and she tried to enjoy the wedding, and suddenly, it was her cousin's wedding, and suddenly in the morning, she had to give birth to me. There were no hospitals those times, so they had to take her to Sharjah. It seemed like that, uh, I was uh, very uh, uh, keen to see the world, so I was born in the car. And I was called Isa because I was born on the 25th of December 1955. And from that day, I'm always on the move. People tell me you walk quickly, you, you work quickly and everything, because I think from, from birth, that's how it was. Until at three, I was in uh, Al-Fahedi. But, uh, but I, my mother went to Kuwait. When I was six and a half, nearly seven, uh, my father called me back to Dubai. When I came to Dubai, there was only one or two buildings in Dera. And for us, we would look at it and be proud that we have two to three buildings, I think, in Dera. We would see it from uh, Fahedi or Al-Bastakiya earlier, they were calling it. And for us, it was like something good. But for me, coming back from there, it's just the beginning. I went to school in Al Sha'ab school. I had uh, two big problems when I came. First of all, is that I I didn't know how to read and write because everything I learned in English. My father took an action, sent me to uh, to teachers who teach me Arabic. And when I was in, in class, there was always a fight between the first and second. Who will come first? Who will come second? I always knew nobody knew who this guy is what we'll do. Strangely, they didn't know that. I came first on all of them. Uh, and I came first, and in Arabic, I got 50 out of 50. In religion, I got 50 out of 50. And then I became, uh, um, at the end, I became uh, a reference in Arabic grammar. Till now I am. So in 1971, when this happened, it was, uh, for us, it was like uh, a freedom. Now we are by our own. And now, Allah Rahma Sheikh Zaid is the president, and Sheikh Rashid Rahma was the vice president. It was like a dream come true for us. An independent country started. Sheikh Zaid Allah Rahma, he always talked about education, talked about human being. He said, we don't want to build industry. We, want, we don't want to build factory. We want to build the human being that will build these factories. So, he started batches to send abroad for scholarships. So you all uh, sent abroad. And in 1976, when I finished uh, my bachelor's, my uh, second school, we asked to uh, apply for scholarship to the uh, United States. I went to Denver for English language. So this is how I started. In Denver, I just started my English. I did two years of uh, university, which one and a half year actually. Year. I didn't know they didn't have electrical engineering. Then I applied and I got three acceptances because I was good in, uh, in the university plus there. I was uh, accepted in University of California, San Diego. And then I did master's degree, same University of California, San Diego, master's degree, same telecommunications. And then in my PhD, I went to University of California, Irvine. There was a rumor in the UA University that I have invented a calculator. A rumor I'm talking about. So once they uh, interviewed me, I said, no, I, I didn't invent. There is a lab, everyone does it. We all designed a uh, calculator. Yeah. This is general. It was invented a long time ago. It's not me. And secondly, they asked me, one of them asked me a question in mathematics. I was a little annoyed from inside. For me, it's very simple. I can do it in a minute. I told that professor, I'll give you a question. I'll solve yours. You try to solve mine. And he couldn't solve mine. Of course, solve, and then I solved it in two minutes, the one I gave him. So with no question, I was accepted. I was seconded to Dubai Silicon Oasis. I was one of the founders of Dubai Silicon Oasis. And then I was one of the founders of the Richardson Institute of Technology. 
uh, with the president of that university when I started in the Bicycle Voices. Then I, after five years, I went back to the University of UAE. And then again, I was seconded to ICT fund. So I was seconded to be a CEO of uh, that, uh, and I was the, uh, the first uh, employee. So I was CEO on, on myself until I created it. Then after two years, I retired from your university. So in 2013, the chairman of the University of Dubai called me. He told me that I want you to uh, be the president of the University of Dubai. And my first motto was, <clears throat> when I went to University of Dubai, I want quality and only quality in anything you do. I will never compromise on quality. I started college engineering. And of course, I recruited one of the best. With him, we started college engineering. Now he's a provost of the University of Dubai. And of course, everybody has a role in, in this thing. So college engineering was the first one. We have AACSB accreditation, which is for business. Dubai Business School has a a international accreditation. Uh, College of Engineering and IT, we have EBIT accreditation. Now we're going to go for engineering accreditation. And uh, we are, of course, accredited by, licensed accredited by Ministry of Education through CAA, Commission for Academic Accreditation. 2002, Ittisalat, Ittisalat Company uh, had a strategic plan for higher education. And they interviewed me, and in my interview, I post for them a project with, the, with our conceptual design completely. Uh, and that design is still, is still there in that strategic plan. Maybe in 2006, they started working with the government. Then in 2009 or 10, 9, it was officially introduced, officially uh, launched. It's called Ankabut. Ankabut is a national research and education network. It was at that time the strongest network in the country, internet network. It's called Internet 2 in the United States. So that was my achievement. From my uh, proposal, my conceptual design, they started it. And then I was funding it when I was an ICT fund. We funded it when I was an ICT fund. So this is my big achievement. And I was recognized by the government of UAE, officially by, by His Highness Sheikh Khalifa Zaid, al of Umrah. Uh, President of UAE, he, he, I was really honored to get uh, the award in excellence. In the award was called Excellence in Literature, uh, so, uh, Social and, uh, and Sciences. I got it in Sciences. I was very proud to receive it. It's, this is like, a, it's like a, a Nobel Prize of UAE. From the United States, my goal was to have a manufacturing factory in, in UAE in semiconductors, electronics, chip design. My goal is to make sure that, of course, to help the leaders to achieve their vision is to be sustainable, the country, even after oil. So my motto started beginning of the 20th century, 21st century, made in UAE, sold globally. This means that we need not to transfer the technology, but transfer the knowledge. Sheikh Mohammed, the Russia says, don't restrict your brain with a box. Open it, open it, open it completely. There's no limitation. So that thing, anytime I have good idea, there's somebody is there to adopt it. One of the things that my father told me, I need to tell the uh, youth, the strongest thing in this world is the truthfulness, truth. My father told me, if you tell the truth, you will succeed all your life. Wouldn't be successful if it wasn't for everybody. I can't do it alone. No way I can do it alone. Everybody has participated, and I thank them all. Mm -hmm.